All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and what you're seeing in the background today is more Dragon Ball Xenoverse gameplay from the beta that we had in Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It'll be EU beta or NA beta. They were pretty much the exact same thing. Anyways, in fact, I wouldn't go as far as to say they were the exact same thing, so it doesn't matter, but the uh, Xenoverse gameplay in the background is merely background noise for what we're going to be talking about today. So, Sergio, the hacker lord of the DBX beta, uh, has done it again. He they came out with this video yesterday, but it was pretty late when I got to see it, and I had to work today. So that's why it took me forever, even though it's still within 24 hours. I'm doing my job here. 24 hours-ish, give or take. I don't know. But anyways, he's uh, unlocked a character list. Now, this character list that he found, he found a bunch of abbreviations, three-letter abbreviations for every name, and he deciphered what he could um, out of those three-letter abbreviations, and he's basically given us a small character list. Now, the reason I say this is a small character list is because this is only what was in the beta, and we can already expect many, many more characters. Now, I'm going to link you guys to his video down below so you guys can check out all of his, uh, all the characters that got leaked, um, or all the characters that he was able to decipher, at least. And feel free to subscribe to him because, obviously, he's coming out with his news first. He's the guy who hacked into the code, which may not be entirely legal, but he's a pretty ballsy guy, so we'll keep going with that. But... Uh, I wrote down a couple names that stuck out to me. I'm going to tell you guys about them, tell you guys about what I think about them. And uh, I have a couple really interesting ideas, as you can probably already tell by the title, is where this one's going to go. So, first of all, in no particular order, we have Bardock. So, I know there's just a lot of Bardock fans. We didn't see Super Saiyan Bardock, but we have Bardock. I can assume they'll let him go Super Saiyan, but I can't guarantee anything. Kid Goku, and at first I was almost convinced that... Uh, Kid Goku was the GT Kid Goku, the one that could go Super Saiyan 4 and all that stuff, because, well, as the title gives it away, GT is very, very likely to be in this game, but the more I think about it, the more I think they already have Power Pull as a move, and Roshi's uh, Turtle, and again, this is all leaked stuff by Sergio, I should start out by saying this is not at all confirmed, this is 0% confirmed stuff, this is, however, what he found in the game's actual coding, so we're assuming it's very likely that this is to happen, but Nonetheless, for the longest time, I wanted to believe Kid Goku was the Kid Goku from GT. I wanted to believe it was GT Goku. However, I'm thinking they definitely a huge possibility that they both make it into the game. But as of right now, the Kid Goku that they're referring to, I think, is the one from Dragon Ball. And I think that that's a good thing because we kind of already think GT is going to be in the game. So for Dragon Ball to also be in the game would open this up to have a roster as big as Budokai Tenkaichi's 3. As big as Budokai Tenkaichi 3's, except bigger because now we have Battle of the Gods movie. Um, so really, really high hopes for the character roster in this game so far, just from what we've seen. Anyway, so we have Kid Goku. Moving on down the line, Vegito. There was no Super Vegito, but we can assume there will be Super Vegito. I doubt they're going to battle of ZS and save him as DLC or something stupid like that. Broly. Got a lot of Broly, t Broly fans out there who really, uh, really were looking forward to Broly. So Broly is confirmed. Again, no transformations of Broly, but we can safely assume that they'll be in the game, at least up to his legendary Super Saiyan state. Great Ape Vegeta. Uh, Great Apes, we kind of expected already. That was another Sergio video that came out. We pretty much expected Great Apes. Rhyme Style and I had a video on that together. Uh, Hercule Satan, thank... Oh, my God. Wiping my brow. I've, get, I've wanted Satan for so long, and they will not give him to us. But Hercule Satan, praise the heavens. Uh, Demigra? I don't know if I'm saying that name right, but that was the secret villain for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It was Demigra. Yeah, it's Demigra. I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's how it's spelled is D-E-M-I-G-R-A. Um, here's the thing about him. His second form was also found, so he will be able to transform at least one time, so I thought that was interesting. Uh, we found Toa and Mira, who we already knew were there. Um, the And we don't know if these characters are playable, if these characters are transformations. Like, for example, we found uh, there was Cell uh, regular form, then there was also Cell perfect, and then super perfect Cell. Same thing with Frieza. There was Frieza regular form, there was also final form Frieza, and then 100% full power. And we're, I would assume that those would be transformations, not characters themselves. You know what I mean? So that's why we're kind of iffy. We don't know if these are characters. We don't know if these are transformations of characters. We don't know if these are uh, merely character sprites that are going to be in the game. Maybe there's characters that you can't play as but are going to be in the game. For example, Time Patrol Trunks came up. He's supposed to be your mentor, at least in the beginning. Will he be playable, or is that is that sprite just loaded for him be so he can be your mentor? We're not sure yet. Again, none of this is confirmed. There's still a lot of speculation. I'm just telling you guys what I know. But anyways, Mira and Toa, the, uh, the Supreme Kai or the Kai of Time... Uh, she is in the game. Her sprite is in there somewhere, whether it's playable or not. Her sprite is in there somewhere. Um, here we go. This is where it gets interesting. We move on to GT characters. Now, to those of you guys who hate GT, I understand why you hate GT. I'm not fond of GT myself, but I am so thankful that the characters are at least in the game. I understand if they don't give us a GT story. I'm fine with that, but at least give me the option to pick the extra characters because GT still spawns some good characters that are fun to play as in games. 
So whether you like GT or not, this is a good thing that we're getting characters for 99% of the population. Anyways, so Super Saiyan 4 was found. We found Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Not we. Sergio found Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. As he's speculating, here's the, well, we'll keep going down the list before I get into that. Super 17, Android Super 17, uh, Pan, the little fucking robot that hung around with him in GT, fucking Gil, um, Great Ape Baby, that's huge, he's the big, well, yeah, he's just big Great Ape ba Baby, it was completely awesome, that was totally unexpected, but that is a thing, he's huge and golden and whatnot, but yeah, big Great Ape Baby, that is going to be really interesting to see what a GT, what such a next level Great Ape will play like, because like we've seen... Great Apes before in Great Ape Gohan and Great Ape Vegeta, but to think about what a next level Great Ape baby will play like is pretty pretty fun to speculate. Shadow Dragons were found at least Nova and his brother. At least Shadow Dragons 3 and 4, Nova and his brother were found. So obviously the fire and ice thing going on there. Along with that, they found Omega Shenron. They found what we saw was his first form. We're assuming that the final form Omega Shenron will also be in the game after he absorbs the Dragon Balls. This is where it gets interesting. Obviously it was going to be in the game, but this is a point that I want to bring up. We also found... Uh, Super Saiyan God Goku, Beerus, and Whis. Now, this was kind of expected considering the movie that came out. I mean, it was two years old now, but still, considering the movie that came out and games are playing off that. But we have GT and uh, fucking Battle of Gods in the same universe. It's always been iffy on if that's a thing or not, but as of right now, we have GT and Battle of Gods in the same universe. When we were playing the beta, when I was playing the beta... They have ratings on characters. They had Gohan's rating. They had Piccolo's rating. Krillin had a rating. Yamcha had a rating. Not like a specific like overall level. Well, I, I take that back. I think they did. I don't know if that depends on mission or not, though. It's still fuzzy. But it gave them so many points in strength, health, key, melee, all that stuff. And it had to rate them. Now, they leveled up as you leveled up, but their stats changed. Like They had, they didn't vary. Like If you leveled up one level goku would level up one level but all of his stats would level up one level he wouldn't like gain 20 in key and two in melee for no reason he stayed consistent as he leveled up so what i'm wondering is who are they gonna have is stronger are they gonna have super saiyan 4 goku be stronger than super saiyan god goku what will super saiyan 4 uh gogeta's stats uh compare to against like beerus or weiss how amazing is that gonna be is is, is weiss gonna be able to blow everyone out of the water like we expect he is is Super Saiyan God Goku going to be uh, not even challenged by Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? It's going to be really interesting to see how they rate these power levels, but Xenoverse could very well answer our question, and it will one way or another, assuming that it lets me do Dragon Ball Z fights in Xenoverse. Uh, whether the stats give it away or I actually have to break it down and do some Dragon Ball Z fights, uh, Goku God versus Goku 4, or Whis versus Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I will I will do that. I will break that down. That will happen. We will find out. But that was just something really interesting and like kind of mind-blowing to me that I wanted to think about. This game is almost going to have to pick a winner between the two, and I am really looking forward to see, seeing the final product on that. Anyways, link to Sergio's video in the description down below if you guys want to check out every character that was revealed. Uh, Jaco the Galactic Patrolman is one I didn't talk about. He's from another one of Akira Toriyama's mangas. And a few other characters, like I said, Videl... Uh, a couple other characters. Like I said, you can check it out. Description down below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Who should be stronger between four and God? Who should be, have, be the end all be all? What do you think about the worlds possibly being intertwined or mixed in the story mode? It's also crazy to get these ideas. Anyways, that's going to do it for me, guys. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. I do the Xeno, I do the Xenoverse kind of stuff all the time, and I will be playing the crap out of that game when it comes out for you guys. Uh, but that's doing it for me. I'm Thundershot, and I'm out. Peace, guys.